So, I've done sushi before, and I guess I'm sort of sticking on the theme, but not going directly with it. Because obviously, with sushi, you get a load of things in a box. You get your, your rice, your fish, whatever. But two of those things have now been taken away and made into the sort of their own things. Uh, by a company called Itsu. Um, and we're starting off with some crispy seaweed fins. Basically, seaweed crisps. Because uh, it's seaweed... Hang on. Wow. They printed the bloody thing so you can't bloody read it. Seaweed, olive oil and sea salt. May contain traces of mustard, sesame and soya. Five grams. Jeez. These weigh next to nothing. I regret the amount paid for these now. Uh, really, guys? Oh, there we go. We've managed to eventually get in. That smell. Not really that much smell. Christ, can't get the bag open. There we go. Hopefully. Okay. That's different than I thought. <laughs> when it says fins, I didn't realise they actually meant fin. Welcome to the stained glass window. Do -do 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 -do. So it's basically dried seaweed. So it has no taste. Can I fold it? I should be able to. You can see it's tearing a bit. getting stuck to the part of my mouth. Have a good thing. Wait, what's this? They've hidden stuff. Silica gel? What? Is that supposed to be in there? You normally find that in like toys and stuff. Not in seaweed packets. I mean, I get it's trying to probably get rid of the moisture, but <laughs> I thought it was like a sachet of salt it was like some weird thing, but no, it's it's actual silica gel. Let's grab two together and see how it goes then. not too bad. I just noticed that's the first time I've actually talked about the flavour of these things. It's not too bad. The container is about Oh, there's not as many as I thought. I just thought there was. Three, six, possibly 12 or 13 in a pack. It's not too bad. I think for the money that it is, it ain't worth it. But as a concept, you know, it's actually not too bad. So yeah, I've literally bought these just to entertain you people. This one was even more money. But admittedly, there isn't five grams in it. The only issue is there is 31. <laughs> so, this is beef twerky. You see what they did there? So, basically, what this is, this is beef teriyaki. You get in sushi stuff. But they've jerkified it, if you want to call it that. Uh, just seeing... It to restaurants. Oh, it's actual a restaurant stuff. 
Wait, they're an official partner of a volleyball tour. Holy crap. This beef, this pack of beef twerky can be found in Itsu's, as well as your local health food store and supermarket. This was from a supermarket. High protein, low carb diets are very popular. They work! What if you are protein intolerant? They don't work then! Um, gluten free, high in protein. Wow. 11 grams per. So this is 31 grams, so a third of this is protein. Um, so it's beef teriyaki made from premium silver side beef, which is a very nice piece of uh, a piece of joint, marinated and gently smoked over applewood, some black pepper, apple cider vinegar, and demerara sugar. Oh. This pack contains an oxygen absorber to enhance freshness. Do not eat. Oh, does it say that on the other one? Hang on. This pack contains one serving. Moisture absorbing pocket contained inside. But this is an oxygen absorber thing. Isn't that the same thing? Ugh. Oh my god! <laughs> Man, that smell! Oh! It's freaking. Ba it smells like bacon! Man, it smells like. It's supposed to be beef, but. It does look like a bacon smell! Well, at first. Better get out this oxygen absorber thing. Just because it's petrifying me, but I'm guessing because it's actual not dried stuff, it can't be silica gel. Come on, come the hell out. It just says oxygen absorber. I know it says don't eat, but like... Is it now... Because you know, of me holding up, is it absorbing oxygen? I... I need a plant. I need a plant to breathe on it. Because obviously carbon dioxide won't work. Anyway. So I just realised i got to... Uh, I might as well put it in with the silica gel. And then just like discard it somewhere. So uh, beef twerky. Got a little bit of air. That's weird. It's got, I, I guess because of the fact it's, you know, dried up and everything. It's sort of got that bacony smell. Wow. Well, it might be, yeah, it might just cause be the curing nature that it's got the sort of bacony smell. But when I smell it again. Yeah, it sort of has got the sort of beef smell as well, but that's only, that's only one second thing. It even sort of, it even sort of looks bacony. It's got the right consistency. Ma'am, this. I want these to be reduced because these are too expensive at what they are. I might just have to get some standard beef jerky and we can try that as well. So I haven't had that in a while. But this is actually pretty good. I approve. Beef teriyaki jerky is really good. Now I sort of want some beef teriyaki on its own in a sushi thing. 
Although I don't think anybody does that. Which is annoying. Wow. So yeah. The seaweed fins. Not too bad actually. I wouldn't say that they're crisps. Like they were out saying on the back I think. From the crystal clear seas around South Korea. Oh God. Really? South Koreans. Or at least it's South Korea, because if it was North Korea, Donald would start declaring war on me. There you go. So, yeah. You know. I would twerk to beef twerky, but I'd like to keep my ass in proper shape, thank you. <laughs>